Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, talking some NFL football uh, for Sunday night's game, the battle between the Cowboys and Niners. Going to get to that in just a moment. If you happen to be watching this video uh, before the late games on Saturday, before 7 p.m. Eastern time, you can still get my seven-star main event in college football. Uh, that was the top play for me this week in college, seven-star play. Uh, going into this week and going into Saturday, uh, we were on a real nice run of 15 and six, couple of pushes over the past three weeks of college and pro football combined. Last three Saturdays, 14 and three with a couple of pushes with all sports combined, including college football. So if you're watching it before 7 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday, you can still grab uh, that seven star main event. As far as my NFL card, if you're watching after that time or just want to look at NFL, I've got three NFL plays for Sunday. We've swept our last two NFL Sundays. We'll look to make it three straight sweeps with NFL Sunday action. Uh, but I do have three plays. They all kick off at 1 p.m. Eastern time, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific on Sunday slate. So those are available. And again, we'll look to make it three straight Sunday sweeps in the NFL. Don't forget about baseball, WNBA. A WNBA final start on Sunday. I've had a fantastic season, my best yet in the WNBA, so you can check that out also. NASCAR on Sunday, 98 and 63 is my matchups run in NASCAR up over $11,000, and I will have a matchup available on my homepage at DocSports.com on Sunday. One final note, then we get to the analysis of the Cowboys and Niners. Uh, don't forget to check out uh, Doug Upstone and I have this new project. It's called Us Against the Spread, and you can find it at usagainstthespread.docsports. Dot com. It's a subscription-based service. We talk almost 100 pro and college football games combined uh, per month, and it's $19.99 per month, 20 bucks per month. So check it out if you want. Again, that's us against the spread. Dot .docsports.com. All right, let's get to the Sunday Nighter, the Cowboys at San Francisco. I plan on having at least one prop available on Sunday on my homepage at docsports.com, a premium prop on this game, but I passed on the side in the total as far as a premium play, uh, but I do like it enough to talk about it here. Good news for Dallas, Michael Par Micah Parsons uh, was upgraded to probable late in the week. He's expected to play in Dallas, obviously can use his help against an elite team like San Francisco. Speaking of elite teams, I think Dallas is very good. I'm not going to yet put them in the elite category. Uh, I don't believe Dak is elite, Dak Prescott. I don't believe he's bad. I'm not a hater of Dak Prescott. I think he's a B grade quarterback, maybe even B minus, especially the B minus comes into play when it, you're talking about big games throughout his career thus far. Uh, the defense did suffer second, secondary injuries a couple of weeks ago. You know, they lost Trayvon Diggs at corner, big loss. Uh, but listen, Captain Obvious here, right? Uh, San Francisco's elite. Just take Brock Purdy out of the mix for just a second. He's been fantastic. The other 21 starters, offense and defense combined for San Francisco, are the best starting units in the NFL. There's no doubt about that. I didn't throw Brock Purdy into the mix. Very smart quarterback, reacts well to what he's seeing on defense, on the defenses that he opposes. 20 for 21 passing last week. The, the biggest thing I liked about uh, Brock Purdy was two weeks ago. Uh, he's playing against the Giants. The Giants sent like 85% defensive plays were blitzes. And the first quarter, he struggled with his accuracy with reading the blitz. And then after that, man, he just turned it up. Flipped the switch. The guy's smart as it gets. And he had a fantastic final two and a half to three quarters against the Giants in that game. Uh, so anyway, as far as I'm concerned, San Francisco on a neutral field would be a couple of points favored here. Two, two and a half points. They're only laying three to three and a half. Well, mostly three and a halfs and fours now at this point. Uh, but when you add their home field advantage to the mix, I like San Francisco uh, to get this victory. I know some people are plunking down a buck 80 on the money line. That's fine. I mean, mathematically speaking, that's not a bad thing to do in this particular game. But how about this? The ground game, I think, should flourish in this game once again. McCaffrey, number one in NFL in touches, number one in yards, 600, tied for first in big plays, which are 10-yard runs and 20-yard receptions. Seven touchdowns, also tied for first going in to this week. And I want to thank uh, Fox Sports 1 for those stats. Uh, Purdy leads the NFL in passer rating. He's got a 19-2. to two touchdown to INT ratio since he became the starter back in week 14 of last year. I like San Francisco here, guys. 
I, I know they're going to be popular in this particular matchup, but I still think they get the job done laying three and a half to four points. The Niners, my free play. I know that's a long video, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about that game. Check out my daily packages each and every day of the week over at DocSports.com on my homepage. And as you guys know, if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column, everybody.